Like we told you, HISD is closing 36 schools tomorrow, including Heights High, which lost air conditioning today. Parents were scrambling to pick up their students who were sent home early. They want to know why issues were not handled before school started. ABC 13's Brooke Taylor took those concerns to the superintendent. So, Brooke, what did he have to say about all of this? You know, there's one thing that's certainly clear, and that's Superintendent Mike Miles' top priority right now is making sure that students are back in the classroom. He says that if the classes were closed today, it would have been way worse. And he says if we wanted a perfect air conditioning system, then we would never have school. It was really hot. It was getting hard to breathe. I couldn't breathe in there. HISD, totally bad call today. Frustrated students and parents as they return to campuses without AC. It was just so hot. On the third floor, no AC, no internet. Lauren Garcia attends Heights High School where the principal called for an early dismissal after students were already asked to come in. You walk in those doors and the first thing you felt was heat. Many parents forced to leave work and pick up their students. I don't think they had enough time to really prepare and test the way they told us that they did. Um, it was an inconvenience for me to go to work and now have to be here to pick him up. Heights High School and Reynolds Elementary School in Sunnyside were both forced to close because of AC. Lamar High School in Upper Kirby also sent students home because of a gas leak. In total, 214 schools stayed open. Despite issues, Superintendent Mike Miles called it a successful day. I asked why not close school until all the AC issues are sorted out. The question then becomes what is too hot and what is too uncomfortable, what's, what's unsafe and what's uncomfortable. And everybody has a different range. So we ask our maintenance people to go out and we check the temperature. If it's too, too hot, we're going to close the school. But some say the decision to send kids back to class is irresponsible. Most of the time, it's more money for them than anything. So they kind of put us at like the risk of anything just so they, they don't have to miss out on money. And if your child is unable to go to school because of issues like no power, the superintendent says they were excused from school today. They'll be excused again tomorrow. We asked whether students will have to make up these days that they lost. And the superintendent says as long as students are back to school by Thursday, he doesn't believe that will happen.